Well, it's that time of day. You guys start up League of Legends. You're ready to play. Your game's about to start, and then as soon as the games are all oh, shit, you somebody's like being toxic, toxic as fuck and fucking told you to go kill like, yourself. God. What the fuck do you do? Once upon a time, little Ag thought it would be a great idea to go into a game of League of Legends, and then little did he know that he was going to have to deal with that one toxic dude that gets upset about everything on his team and always has to blame everything on the rest of his team, how bad his team is all the time, but he didn't say anything about me, which is pretty funny because it looks like I actually did pretty well because based on the statistics at the end of the game, I actually had a lot better stats than him. So I guess that's just something that happens when he plays Zyra support because, you know, she's that mid lane manger that just kind of comes on bot lane and they buffed her, so now she does ridiculous things you don't have to really build much damage he just does things for free now and it's ridiculous anyway didn't say anything about me but he sure as hell said some things about the rest of the people on the team but at the end of the day what you need to realize is that being toxic doesn't get you anywhere except a lost game it doesn't make any sense to be an asshole to people there's no reason to do so so why do it it's you're gonna play the game if you want to take a leave for being afk go for it but there's no reason to try and ruin other people's day like just just don't be that person don't be that person there's no reason to be that person it doesn't make any sense when it comes to trying to detox the toxicity in League of Legends, there's always all these different steps and things that you can take in order to make things better for the person that you're playing with. You know, just adding toxicity to toxicity doesn't really work. It doesn't make it better, won't make it better, and you'll at the end of the day, oh shit, you'll at the end of the day make yourself feel awful because you're like, I just wasted all of this time and energy raising my blood pressure by yelling at this other idiot that doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about, and I just sat there and argued with him for hours, so now I'm upset. It's exactly that. You upset yourself. You're the idiot. Stop it. Don't feed into the toxicity. Just do something about it. Do the exact opposite of that. Just don't say anything. Don't even notice them. Don't even talk to them. It's the best thing that you can do probably for yourself is just not even talk to them. It'll make you feel better, of course, because you're not feeding into the troll. Don't add gas to the fire. They say it all the time. It's all these different expressions that say do not give the person the attention that they want. They want you to react to them. So if you react to them, then they've just won. Holy shit! the several things that you can do to try and detox a situation is using the let's focus guys technique of trying to pull away from the original problem of this one guy being a huge asshole to the rest of your team and focus on trying to win the game which is obviously what they want they're toxic because they're mad that the other people aren't on the skill level that they should be to help carry this game and they're lacking and then causing a huge issue but they just want people to let's just focus let's just all focus and I, I know it's complete bullshit everybody's focused on this asshole that wants to help ruin the game for everyone but he wants to do that because he's mad that there's no there's no reason to be here we're gonna lose anyway so there's no reason to win so i'm just gonna feed and troll just pull people away from that just try your hardest do what you can be like all right guys if we just focus a little bit harder if we just do what we can to really make this work out then we can probably win the game the lights from heaven just like open the the clouds part and you can just see the silver lining of hope just sitting there before it gets crushed and you lose every game you ever play because this never works Will I see you again? Alright, so sometimes trying to reason doesn't always work with the toxic person and it just keeps going on forever and ever. And then the one thing that you can do to actually just make it all stop is just mute them. Just mute them. Don't worry about talking to them. Don't deal with them. Just keep going about your game and don't even look at them because the faster you get yourself out of the habit of trying to respond to them or pulling away your gameplay just to respond to them, then that's when you start losing a hell of a lot faster. So sometimes it's just better to mute them. It's 20 minutes. We could still win this game. All we have to do is just sit here and try our damnedest and just pull together and do everything we can to be the best team that we can be. And it doesn't matter what... Alright, fuck it. Just fuck, fuck, fuck this game. Alright, who wants to support really me? Like it, to broken. it should be Christmas. <laughs> support honestly. me yeah. for people. Who about, okay, who who do you want me who do you want me to play? I want if you I to play it. whatever your heart burns for. Nah, nah me. What does your heart desire? What does your heart skin? burn? You don't have the new skin.